All right, here comes the fun part. As we get to this point, we've talked about bridges, we've talked about the design. Now we're gonna create the design using the beam feature in Onshape. So we're gonna get our bridge all designed and all created in Onshape here. We're gonna learn a few new concepts. One is we're gonna work with assemblies again, so multiple different parts and pieces and adding them together. We're gonna to do linear patterns and assemblies. And we're going to continue our use of our beam feature. So let's get started here. I'm going to come over and we started a new design called Balsa Bridge Design. I'm going to move myself over a little bit. And I'm going to start out a new one for you guys. Okay, in this balsa bridge design, the first thing we have to talk about is we have to develop the, the gap or the span that we're taking care of here. So we're gonna start that out by starting a sketch in the front view. And I'm gonna hit the green or rectangle tool. And I want it to be in line with this. And the first height is gonna be four inches. And the length, we're going to span 10 inches plus 2 inches on each side, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then that's 14. We're going to click the normal sketch plane, as we've seen lots of times. I'm going to hit the escape key, just so I can pull this out. 4 by 14 so far. Then... I'm going to, we're going to learn a new tool, which is called split. It's right underneath trim. It's split. So we're going to split this piece right into two, because we need to cut out this gap. And I'm going to draw a line now, down, across, and we're going to kind of pre-highlight that so I can lock them together and straight up. Then I only want this piece, I don't want this piece, so I'm gonna take and hit the escape key or right click and cancel with this top edge right here. And I'm going to hit convert to construction. All right, now we gotta finish this out as far as dimensioning it. So I'm gonna click on the dimension tool. This is hanging on by a maximum of two inches. This is hanging on by a maximum of two inches. That makes this exactly 10 inches between and of course, it's going to give me a warning here because it's over constraints. So we're going to just hit the escape key. That's right out. Then I'm going to take in the maximum depth here, how deep this can be, is three inches. But here's my tabletop. Here's the gap I got to span, the 10 inch gap I got to span. Here's my other tabletop. Then the last thing I want to do is get this centered. So I'm going to go to my uh, midpoint. Looks like a gap in the middle. Click on this line. Click on the origin. And go midpoint. And it locked that all into place. Green check. Extrude. Select the face. And the widest this can be is 3.25. So I hit enter. And right now it goes all to the outside. I want it to be in the center. So I'm going to go symmetric. Hit green check. Hit the P to get rid of planes. 
Right now, I'm in Part Studio 5. I'm going to right click on that and hit rename and call that span. This is what we're trying to span here. And I'm going to hit save or I'm going to be done with that. And that's our first part that we're doing for the bridge project.